TN editors and three associate producers. We have five people here, which is good. Okay, let's see. Hopefully, Michael will be with us shortly. I'm going to share my screen right now so we can get the agenda. Okay, this is the... Okay, uh, this is the uh, September 12th meeting of the Northampton Open Media Board of Directors. We've begun. It started. We, uh, you know, we were going to have Michael here, but Michael isn't here yet. Hopefully, he will show up in a bit. Um, how's everybody doing? This is my relational check-in. How's everybody doing? <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> well, we were talking about how Tim had his big event this past weekend and how he was content with it is that was that the verbiage you used for content <laughs> meaning when i don't lose money i'm content yeah you know what i mean like when i don't personally lose money i'm content uh flora you do anything interesting lately did i do anything i ate schnitzel <laughs> <laughs> it was delicious <laughs> uh no other than that i don't i'm 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 suffering the rain with the, taking photos. It's a little bit tricky to find good times to take photos. But other than that, no. Ellie? Um, nothing too new. I'm glad that the heat is going to be over soon. Oh, God. Thank yeah. God. I can't stand it being above, like, 80 degrees, like, ever. Well, it was weird because, like, like, a couple weeks ago, it was, like, pretty much 70 the whole time. The end was, of August was so nice. Yeah, and I was like, oh, it's going to be nice now. And then it, it, for, like, the start of school, it just got, yep. became 90 again. It's so, like, cool. Great. I went to something really cool, actually, this weekend called the Luma Festival, Ooh. which happens in um, Binghamton, New York, which is, like, on the border of New York and Pennsylvania. Mm. And it's the biggest projection festival in the United States. And they project these artists from around the world make these intense, like building size projections that are mapped onto the geometry of the building. So that these like huge moving images that crawl over the building. It's all these different kinds of art. It, it's one building which is illuminated? Or it's like eight, uh, six or seven oh, cool. buildings. It's like a little tour. It's a festival they have on the weekend. I have a friend who's into mm. projection art. So I went with him. It's really cool. Yeah, I'll look at that one on projection mode. Yeah. Uh, anything from you, Jeremy? Um, not fun, but it was just funny. We were uh, Ellie and I were in uh my room after school, and I was like doing all a whole bunch of things. Had to race to get to a meeting at four o'clock for the union and everything. And like, I'm about to pick up my bag and then the entire shelf in my room with all of our awards and everything <laughs> just fell off the wall and just like scattered everything. But uh, I, I, I attribute it to winning so many awards that all of the awards that we won <laughs> just brought down the shelf off of the wall. So that's, that's the win. There you go. I'm just, I'm just too talented. <laughs> yep. uh, uh, I don't know if I talked about it last time I can't remember if it happened like right before our last meeting or right after but I got to uh, run audio for the Springfield's um, city council debates mm. and mayoral debates uh, working with Focus Media that's what they're called right Focus Steve, Springfield. St yeah Focus Springfield Steve from Focus Springfield who's running the show there and a bunch of their other staff I got to hang out with uh, they were great. They were really great to work with. I liked them a lot. Uh, it was a fun, fun time. Some of those candidates, especially for city council, were a little, a little weird, but it was, it was still a nice event to do. <laughs> um, it's anyway, good to, good to see what's going on in your town. Yeah. Uh, although actually today is the primary voting day, and I have, I'm, I'm not going to be able to vote because I was super busy all day at work. So I couldn't leave like during my lunch break to go and vote. And then right from work, I came to here and I'm not going to get back until after the polls close. <laughs> uh, any other day this week would have been fine, but no. Uh, but yeah, so uh, moving on, let's talk about the next meeting.
So everybody, take out your calendars. Uh, what is the date we're talking about? Uh, 17th. Yeah. Uh, we have, if the 17th worked for you guys, that would be our proposal. Uh, L wants to uh, present the budget. Okay. Most likely latest in November. And uh, we also have the quarterly numbers in. And I'm gone the week before. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. October 17th, Tuesday. I assume six here. Uh, does that work for? Okay. Jeremy's giving a thumbs up. So that's good for him. That's good. I have a student union meeting on the 17th, pretty sure. So, yeah. Um, that's at 6.30. So, mm -hmm. and those are the first and third Tuesdays of every month. Okay. Um, is that in this building? It is. It's in the library. Oh. Hmm. Could people do 5.30? I know that some people are, are working and stuff. Uh, sometimes with the traffic, it can be tough for me to get here then, but usually I can, I think. Um, also depending, well, I don't know how long the, um, presentation on budget stuff is going to go, but it's possible that we could just have a short meeting next month. Uh, yeah, like 530 works on my end. Uh, if we start a little bit earlier, no problem at all. Uh, it depends on the <laughs> team. Are you raising questions again? No, just <laughs> for the budget. No, we had. Did we have a big discussion on the budget? No, it wouldn't be that long. <laughs> uh, we could also do the 16th if that doesn't work the day before. Hmm. Yeah, is that what works on mine? Yeah, it's good for me. Uh, Monday, 16th. the 16th, Monday, that's all good for me. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, let's try for Monday the 16th then. Sure. At the regular time. Okay. So, so far. And we can have the budget if it if it goes over if there's um whatever uh we can you know we have the November meeting as well. It's just that I'm gonna be gone in December, so I want to make sure that the budget gets done before. So we're doing the same time on the sixteenth. Uh six o'clock, yep. Yeah. So. Uh, all right, cool. Yeah. Let's talk about the August minutes, which now that I'm looking, okay, that's the director's report. Is this the, yes, this is the August minutes. That's the thing I motion to approve the July minutes, I assume, and not the April minutes. Oh, yeah. And the, the, there was something else on the bottom, but I think you changed it, Jeremy. There was some some voting procedure was was uh, yeah. Okay. So so yeah, we had some accidental uh, typos of months in the minutes, uh, but the actual content of what happened seems to be correct. Uh, let's see here. We had the director's report and we added, Jeremy added in red for stuff people were, because we sort of had a back and forth conversation during that. So Jeremy added in red uh, the stuff that we had talked about yeah. in there, uh, different ideas, things the board wants to do. That's cool. Uh, we had a very uh, cool and short high school report. Uh, we have the recap of the workshop and talking about fundraising and we figured out a date for the uh, annual meeting and that we want to show Melissa's movie at it uh, and we talked about a little bit about nominating committee stuff and how we weren't going to present that much <laughs> and then uh, we talked about comedy cause and yeah 
Yeah, there was something messed up at the bottom here, but I think I changed it. Oh, okay. The, yeah. yeah. Here it was. Mm -hmm. That was not reflected correctly. Yeah. <clears throat> Usually I take a, I just make a copy of the previous and sometimes I'll, I'll miss a, uh, a, um, like a motion or something. I just took out one, for instance, from, uh, September. So we should be looking good. Um, yeah. uh, can we change this motion to approve July minutes? And then I think. It needed all caps. I'm not that into it. Okay. There we go. Um great. Okay. So uh is everybody good with the meeting minutes from last time now? I move a motion to approve the what is Yay. it? Yay. I second <laughs> the August minutes, yes. Yeah. Jeremy second. Uh all those in favor of approving the corrected August minutes, say aye or raise your hand. Okay. Aye. aye. Okay, back to the agenda. Now we have the task document. Let's go scroll down a little bit. Can I scroll down? Yeah. Oh, too much. Okay. Review the task document, which I have open right here. All right. Um, so there will be some things this um, for the task document that, well, there's one thing that I couldn't do, specifically one of my tasks, which is uh, to speak with staff about the fundraising stuff, uh, just because staff didn't end up being available today, but we've rescheduled, so I'll be able to present on it next time. So I'm just going to change the date on this to October. There we go. Slash. Right. As you uh, as you write one, I had a uh, task that is complete here. Uh, cool. Uh, okay. Anything? So yeah, we're gonna be talking about. Um. Yeah, the best way to look through it is if if we filled out all the complete that we only completed in the in the minute, and filter out everything which is completed or cancelled before we look through it, so we don't have to look through everything. So we really just look at the ongoing so task. Oh, the know, open I more ongoing. I did the wrong one. Too. Schedule fundraiser. Why was schedule fundraiser meeting with employees? Oh, because it's Al. That's the other yeah, person. Yeah, not yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, who's AW? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, that's the one. I've corrected the wrong one. Okay. Great. So that's, there's two of these. There's also one down here, fundraising meeting with staff. Oh, can I just delete yeah, that? Yeah, delete that. Okay, cool. Um, all right. So the audit setup, it, I didn't have the time to, to work on that. Okay. But you talked about how you, you guys were going to do that next meeting and. Yeah. It, yeah. We tried to come up with something. Okay. And then, uh... So I can change the date on that. Uh, cool. Okay. Um, yeah, we're going to talk about the event stuff this meeting. We're going to talk about fundraising next meeting. We're going to be talking about board recruiting this meeting. We're going to be talking about the audit next meeting. Okay. Yeah. And the hot chocolate thing is a ways off. So cool. Sounds good. Okay. Go back to here uh all right so that brings us to the director's report okay um do you want to screen share that or you want oh you, you are I great am. terrific so this is the director's report welcome to it um it was really a long last month or last meeting and it's much shorter this meeting uh, part of the reason is that we're only two and a half weeks <laughs> after that meeting today um and so here's what's been going on uh, we've begun recording statements for candidates uh, running for office in Northampton and contest in all contested elections in 2023. There's 14 candidates who are um, running in contested races. We've recorded uh, 10 of them so far, and um, we have 
uh, three others that have contacted us and are working out dates and one who has been just non-responsive. Uh, we, we've reached out to everyone a couple of times already and we'll reach out to the last non-responsive again, of course. Um, we set a due date for near the end of September for finishing those recordings with candidates. Uh, basically, this is sort of where we uh, we take a standard background and standard lighting and let them come in and they record a five minute statement and say whatever they want to say. They have a half an hour to do it so they can take as many takes inside that space as they want. Uh, we just trim the ends. That's all the editing we do. Um, and it can be very helpful. They can use it um, for their own social media accounts. And we take all those and we create a random order based on the offices. And then we play it from front to back. And then we play it from back to front. And that's sort of our process um, for equity inside of those. And we're also talking to, I should add, the League of Women Voters. Uh, we've initiated conversations with them about having some debates and forums with those candidates this year. Um, and so I don't know how many we'll do or what that'll look like, but um, we're getting ready for elections, basically. Um, we continue to make purchases towards the capital plan and towards the ARPA grants. Um, so you'll see, you might even see some stuff around here. There's a podcasting recording setup over there. We bought a couple of new cameras. We bought some wireless video transmitters that we got to test drive before we purchased them at um, at Performance, which we also recently recorded. Uh, we really liked how they worked. And so we were able to, to move forward on acquiring those, a new wireless intercom system, some other stuff. Um, and that's gonna be ongoing for purchasing for at least the next month. Uh, I dig into board source. We talked about board source last time as a great resource for the board. And uh, what I'd like to do is just um, take a pause and look into some other possible solutions. The reason being just that I checked out board source specifically around the uh, conflict of interest policy that we were interested in, like using that as a source for. And it was, their version of it was like a decade old. Oh. And that really gives me some pause. And so I'd like to look around and see what other kinds of uh, competitors board source has. That was kind of the thing that was around for a long time and the popularly used one. Um, I just want to see if there's something a little fresher um, that's out there. So I'm going to come back to you with maybe just a slightly different solution. Um, as I mentioned, we recorded the performance event as well as held a Catalyst Film Festival screening at the Parlor Room in Northampton. Um, that went really well. That was super well attended. Um, I think better than better than most people involved expected, I guess. Um, and the film's really great. Um, a lot of the end of the summer has been staff taking time off as summer came to a close. Uh, we're embarking on a project with the city. We're going to be doing some informational and FAQ videos for the downtown project that's happening in 2025. You may have seen a lot of this in the news. It's very like a hot topic of conversation around the city. The city is going to completely um, renovate or remodel downtown Northampton. Um, it's going to look like um, they're reducing the number of lanes, they're expanding sidewalks and bark, bike lanes, they're changing the way people park. And so there are people who have a variety of concerns about whether this is a good idea or a bad idea. And so we're just going to take um, some of the questions that the city is getting most frequently and help them put together some, some information responding to the concerns people have. Um, so that's... that's a that's a uh, a very interesting uh, um, project. I wish we had more information about that project. I'm just I'm just joking. We're we're doing like a we're, that's one of our segments right now for the transcript. <laughs> we're talking oh, the about downtown. Yeah. Yeah. It's one of it's one that I'm working on. Oh, that's great. Yeah. <laughs> talking to the city planner, doing a whole bunch of stuff, getting all, all the documents and stuff. Uh, that's great. Uh, maybe there's some crossover. Um, oh, and just finally, um, Florian already mentioned this, but I'd like to present the budget in October or November just to get ahead of the the process and uh, and do good, efficient work. And that's it. Cool. All right, we're good. Okay, the high school report. All right, so um, we. Got in the new order of MacBooks from Smith, or the MacBooks from Smith. Nice. And those are have all been updated mostly. 
Um, we were having some problems with some of their SD card readers were just not working. So we got some USB card readers from Northampton Open Media. Um, we released our first episode last Friday. It went really well. Um, it's great for a first episode. Looking very promising, all the um, the new students coming in. Um, this Thursday, Open House is at, I think, 6.30 here. And the senior news producer, Jasmine Fu, she'll be giving a presentation on the transcript. Uh, and also, uh, C-SPAN Student Cam is starting up again for the 2024 admissions, I think. Their mission period is not exactly sure when. Um, I think it was the sixth that it started. Um, and that is just their annual national video documentary competition um, that's geared at students for them to think critically about any issues that affect their community. Cool. Yeah. And we already have a couple students who are expressing interest on working on something for that. Um, yeah, you were saying uh, prior to the meeting that for that first video, it was like you made it, and then at the same time, we're also training everybody on how yeah, to make it. Yeah, trial by fire, basically. It's wild. Uh -huh. This is very cool. Uh, oh, also, if you have notes and you uh, are comfortable having them shared, you can send me the file, yeah, and sure. I, I can screen share it. If, if you want to do that, uh -huh. that's an option, so okay. just keep yeah. it in mind. Uh, but, um, but yeah, so awesome. All right. Uh, up next, we have the nominating committee. Uh, Jeremy and I talked to people, and then we had a Zoom meeting, and we talked about it. Um, I don't have a lot of new or good news, but I have a little news on my end, which is just that um, uh, William Arnold is probably a yes. He's like 90% of the way there. He has to just convince his wife. <laughs> but he's pretty sure because our meetings are hybrid that won't be very difficult because it's the the concern is that if he would have to drive to Northampton like every month where is he based he's in Springfield uh so I think it's uh we're we're pre in pretty good shape for him uh I reached out to two uh people who Michael had suggested um and one of them uh Amber got back to me said that uh, she could not do it. She's too busy working on a feature film uh, in the coming year, unfortunately. Uh, the other person, though, um, whose name I can't pronounce very well, uh, they were saying when I reached out to them that they weren't sure if they were qualified. They were like, oh, yeah, I'm just like, you know, a small filmmaker. I don't know if I'm qualified. And I was like, well, you are. <laughs> so, um, but then I also went into more details of like what's expected of a board member to be like, okay, you know, we would love to have you because we've gotten a good recommendation uh, of you from Michael. Uh, we feel that you're qualified, but also like, you know, here's what you would need to do if you were on the board, which is just, you know, the monthly meeting, uh, helping out with a subcommittee once in a while, and maybe some attending some events and stuff like that. Uh, so I sent her that email back, but I haven't heard back uh, on that thread. So I don't know. I'm st it's still sort of up in the air uh, with them. Uh, Jeremy, were you able to reach out to anybody? Yeah, I reached out to uh, Daniel Madsen, longtime member, uh, also a videographer, local videographer, who also helped with the uh, Young and Heart shoot. Uh, they unfortunately couldn't do it. Um, so yeah, same boat uh, for that. Um, I also... Uh, was in correspondence with Melissa and just to get a feeler to see if she was thinking about returning and things she was leaning towards no although she did say she could be peer pressured <laughs> um, doesn't she run into problem that it, uh, she's running out of time no I think she turned exactly that. so then we had a discussion about even if she uh, can't participate she's going to be in in a few months she's going to be out so rather than have any official kind of resignation uh if she can make it great if she can't um yeah. she'll be timing out so uh but in that conversation she did confirm that she is interested and is willing to uh show films 
She can't show specifically the film that she just created because of distribution. It's actually going to be shown at Amherst Cinema, and she's going to be telling us the the date and everything. Oh, cool. um, the tickets aren't on sale yet. So uh, because of distribution, she can't show that, but she has a couple of music videos that are lined up and other uh, films that she could show. And she was really uh, she was really pumped to that we reached out and, and asked her for that. Cool. Uh, now, Jeremy, I s realized this like the other night and I sent you an email about it. I don't know if you had a chance to look at it, but I was looking at the bylaws. Uh, and because the bylaws in terms of like when people's terms change over were rewritten in the last couple of years. Right. So people like Jeremy and Melissa and myself uh, are kind of in, in that weird like we're on the old system because we started on the old system, but now the new system is here. So how do we adjust to that? And I realized that Melissa has turned out, but we're supposed to theoretically have elected people change over on odd years. So that would mean that a new elected person would start on an even year in 2024, which is not how the new system is supposed to work. So the two ways we can kind of go about it is either for the one of those uh, new elected people coming in say like okay you're gonna like just be in for a year and then run for election again so we can get you on the right schedule which actually might be beneficial to some people because then they're not making a two-year commitment at first you know see if they like the board whatever uh but my other suggestion was we could see if melissa or jeremy i guess wanted to stay an extra year so that then they would be leaving at the appropriate time instead of a year early, right? And I just figured I'd bring that up as like an option. So if we are really, if we do end up being like a person short on elected people, we could potentially have uh, Jeremy or Melissa stay for an additional year if they would be open to that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I wanted to bring that to the board to see how people felt about it. So I'm going to put in the, um, <laughs> just in the notes, so you can just put a kind of succinct way of describing that for, for our notes. I'm I'll gonna try. Put... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, I'm gonna uh, I'll probably link to the bylaws or something, or take an excerpt from the bylaws that, that <clears throat> talks about the thing that I'm saying. What, what was the change like that it changed from two year, uh, one year well, terms to two year terms? So a, a bunch of things changed, actually. It used to be three year terms. And now it's two-year terms, but it's also that um, whether the year is even or odd is important in terms of whether you're elected or appointed. So the way it's supposed to work is if it's uh, an even year, that's when appointed positions are supposed to happen. Uh, and if it's an odd year, that's when elected positions are supposed to happen. And right now we're going to 2024 and we're putting two elected positions in, so that's not when those are supposed to happen. But like I said, we're dealing with board members, they're all on the old system and they're terming out because they're running out of years, right? Uh, so that's why there's a little bit of a mismatch there. Uh, but yeah, so I, I'm sorry, did you have anything else? No, 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 no. Okay. Like, I, I think there's no contention in the board, so it should be no problem that we have someone not a year in there. Yeah. So. If, uh, it, it's rather sad that we lose experienced board members. <laughs> Do you want me to send anything out to <clears throat> membership about soliciting nominations? Yes, definitely. Yes. Because now we are two months out from the yeah. annual meeting. Right. So this is when you want to send that. Because the yeah. idea was they have a month to consider and then yeah. a month to actually run. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, cool. Um, Tim, do you have anyone? Do you know anyone? Like we do? Yeah, there's a few people I'm gonna ask. And they, they don't have to live in Northampton, right? Okay. I will let you know. It would be Yeah, I really like uh, Michael's two suggestions were awesome, like looking into the stuff that they do. It's just kind of a bummer that both of them were it's a little tricky, I assume it sounds more scary than it actually is. Right. Yeah. Like it's, it's not like it's not really that much. That big, yeah, you meet once a month and do a little bit. Maybe, but it's not. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah. Oh. So that's that's where we're at with the nominating committee. Jeremy, did you want to add anything? Uh, no. Um, I actually didn't get that email, so I didn't know what you were talking about. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, well, there you go. Well, you know. <laughs> so, so yeah. Um, 
blindside me on a, on the live uh on the live yeah. thing no i'm just kidding um but yeah um we can definitely discuss uh the possibilities of that stuff um and uh yeah i think it's a great idea i don't know if we have literature al that we have from previous years that we can kind of copy paste adjust and amend um to send out for those calls um that usually comes to that goes out to the northampton listserv so that's that's handled internally um but yeah. then you can send all queer uh, inquiries to to Alex and I. Is there okay? Sorry, that's a random question coming up. Is in your high school department someone who might be a good fit? There, there are people. I just hesitate to have too many educational representatives just for the, the skewing purposes. I can certainly. There's certainly other, you know. Um, youth representatives, there's other people um, that I work with that would be good candidates. Um, we currently have okay. someone on the school committee, a teacher and a student. Um, and I think that that's, um, I think- But as, as a follow up for you, if you yeah. have to, uh, would it be possible to have someone yeah. Yeah, yeah. A representative from the high yeah, school? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I I know, I see what you're saying. Yeah, for, for sure, I could I could follow up with people and, and get somebody. Okay, cool. Um, so moving on, uh, the audit thing we're going to talk about next month. Yeah. So skip that part of the agenda, and then the um, forum annual meeting planning committee. We should be pretty quick. It's just hey, we know when the yeah. annual meeting is. It's in November. I forget the exact date, but we figured it out last time. It's written down. Actually, it's written down in the November minutes. November fourteenth, maybe. <laughs> Uh, yeah. uh yep november 14th at 7 p.m um so yeah i just want to put together a committee of people who want to um plan that and i assume that al you would probably be on it at least in some ancillary fashion makes sense um tim i don't want to put you on the spot but i would love to have you on that committee because i think your um, expertise would be invaluable <laughs> but certainly don't feel pressured to do it if you don't want to um no, I mean, uh, any anybody else uh interested in helping plan the annual meeting <laughs> I, I think i can when when do we have it in november november we 14th. Stuff in october i'm just thinking i think i should yeah i can handle it okay cool uh yeah i mean that is the pretty solid team of three people. Um, so yeah, you guys will just need to meet and discuss what you want to do for the meeting at some point. Wait, who is, who's on this? Am I on this? <laughs> no, you're not on it. Who is this okay, wait, wait. Florian. The third is person is you? out. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, 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 wait. <laughs> so sorry, I, I have Florian down. Tim. Tim. And who's who's the third? Al. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So whenever you guys have time, just uh, meet and talk about it, uh, and you know, figure out some stuff you want to do to present at the next uh, board meeting next month. Who is the lead? I can I can set up I can set a thing out to set up a meeting yeah. if you want. Yeah, it would be good if you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like I said, uh, reaching out to Melissa to just um, she's confirmed, um, but just getting the run times and everything and seeing what she actually wants to show. Good, but yeah. yeah, it sounds like the pieces are pretty good already. Yeah. Uh, cool. All right. Um, but that was all I had for my agenda. Did anyone else have anything they'd like to? Uh, being present at events, the Tuzi Do Parade. What? Which date was it? That's uh, the 20... The Doozy Do Parade? Did we even talk about that last time? No, we did not. Did oh, the the doozy doozy do oh, what is the Doozy I thought that was during the summer. No, it's coming up. I, I oh. saw, saw a sign out there. I thought we talked about it at the last board meeting, but maybe not. I don't remember talking about 23rd, that. 23rd. The 23rd. Oh, that does not sound familiar. On Saturday. Uh, so maybe we did not, yeah. Like, are you... Is no filming again? Yeah, we're filming it. We're gonna walk. We film it as we walk in it. 
So um, if people wanted, they could carry a nom banner. Yeah. If the board wants to represent. Damn, I'm out of uh, one. So it's, it's the twenty like, third. What time is it? Uh, Wait, the twenty third, or is it the sixteenth? Twenty third. Twenty third. Yeah, I'm out of one. Of this month. Of this month. This month. In other words, in two weekends. Next, next I'm out of town, unfortunately. Which time does it start? <laughs> And one Saturday, I thought I was gonna get to sleep, and they What's pulled me back. Like, well, I did it last time with Andre. Was there any? L was obviously there, but it, like you guys were busy. So I, I, like, I think for the it's good to be involved yeah. in this, but no, it's totally. not like I think publicity. Likewise, it's not that you talk to too many people or anything like that. So it's not that important. Yeah, like, it's, it's mostly kind of just like, to show your face, kind of thing. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's showing your face. It's yeah. If I can. I watched the live stream of it last year, which looked like a lot of fun. It was really, it's a cute parade. Like, yeah. it's, it's fun. But, uh, like, in terms of being pre uh, present at, at Snome, I don't know how much. But, yeah, I, I think I should be free. So I will I will go to that. Um, but I'm sorry. So, Al, did you figure out what time it was? No, I'm looking right now. Was it the, in the morning last It time? was in the morning, yeah. yeah. It's like a, but it's not, it's like at 11, I think. Oh, yeah, good open. Uh, it's funny. Okay. Yeah. Um. um begins at eleven. Eleven o'clock. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. I don't. I don't think that's going to be a problem for me. Oh, that's why. It's pretty quick. Yeah, it's like um, I don't know how to describe it to you. It's like people dressed in funny costumes. There's basically no rules. Twirling around, <laughs> yeah. like kind of. It's yeah. like very like feels it's very like it's a gargoyle mascot. Gargoyle mascot. Yeah, yeah. So it's sort of playful. Yeah. So it's sort of like nothing I'm doing on the weekend anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Sure. Yes. <laughs> a little bit more extra work than this uh, yeah. work than the, during this one and a half hours or whatever it is. I'm with it. It's always been my bucket yeah. list to walk. Now I want to plan a costume. <laughs> a a non-related costume, yeah. like something remote like control. a like yeah, like being a big remote control. Oh, yeah, yeah. that'd be good. <laughs> um, uh but yeah no thanks for bringing that up cool uh okay we can make advertising for toy story yeah do you have a date we don't have a date yet mm -hmm. but we may by then should yeah that would be good then we should dress up as toy story character uh, but I'm... <laughs> it would be really oh, yeah. to get costumes for toy oh, yeah. story so, characters florian so, would make the best woody of all time Mm, yeah, I I was playing Woody in my scene. <laughs> <laughs> nice, but uh, yeah, it was <laughs> was an interesting view into the uh, soul of Woody in this in this song. I, I was not singing. Oh. <laughs> it was interesting. Um, like are that. there are there scenes that people have dropped, Al? For yeah. Toy Story? <laughs> um, could we? Uh, could could you or our employee some somebody um send them to us so we could potentially so, uh the transcript has a cold open, and the cold open could could theoretically make this and like it's it's it kills two birds with one stone type thing, where we do yeah. we we do one of the scenes and Ellie you know how crowdsource works right yeah I'm familiar <laughs> so we've done it in the past uh the Jurassic Park one when Miguel Wharton was around uh we used that one. Yeah, we could give you some options for scenes. Yeah. Dope. Yeah. Cool. I wonder, Jeremy, could you what if you like even did something with your with your video class? Well, I don't what? have a video class for this semester. Oh, you don't have it this semester. I gotcha. We have in the past done that. It, uh -huh. was, it was hilarious actually. Because it was like before before like 
the whole world exploded with like fascism and stuff but it was back in the day when when it was uh indiana jones and so we're like dressing like we're all dressing up as nazis and stuff and like face melting and like doing crazy like it was all it was all so like just looking back on it it was like oh my god what are we doing but um yeah we've done it in the past for the for the um for the classes and it's been a success it's it's fun too it's a fun experience and it's cool to see the outcome when you when you see the yeah. whole film and the idea of participating there. Very good. All right. Uh, I think we're all set here. So uh, can uh, I get a motion to adjourn? Who, who did it last time? <laughs> so I actually I actually deleted the two uh, things out, out of here, so we can so anybody can do it. I move a motion to end the meeting. I so second. Se oh, <laughs> so. Okay, three. That was first on the second. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> uh, okay, all those in favor of closing out the meeting for the month of September, say aye or raise your hand. Aye. Okay, thanks, everybody. Thank you so much. Sweet. Thank you.